I think as a leader, what I always believed in is creating teams and collaborative teams where you don't have silo thinking, having cross training it away. When you have a labor shortage across the country, like you have, and we all have so many hats we're wearing, we have to ask ourselves, where's the best use of my time as a CEO, as the RN, as the LPN, as the aide? How do we cross train in an effective way? So if I need to go out for two months for a, a hip replacement, a stroke, anything that happens in our life. For me, it was cancer. Um, it could be, you know, somebody loses a child. It could be a million traumas that happen in life. How do we keep running 24 hour operations successfully? And how, do, what lanes do we need to be in? And what lanes can we either delegate it to other people or outsource and, and collaborate with other people in, in a non-competitive way, but just saying this is the best way that protects the business so we can care for seniors. And this is the best way that protects us as humans to care for each other because we're in a caregiving role every day of our life. And, you know, the stress, I think all of us as leaders, healthcare workers, us, we know that we're on call 24 hours a day. I've been on call 24 hours a day for 30 years. So, you know, I'm ready for the missing resident in the middle of the night or, uh, somebody didn't show up for a shift or whatever it is. And so that's in the back of your head. And so understanding how to, even though I don't, I never felt stress, there's no way my body didn't absorb some stress over the last 30 years. And so I'm now more aware of, I have to unplug at some moments because we're, uh, we're available 24 hours a day to our campuses, to each other. We want to be, and yet we also need to understand how to take care of our space, uh, our mental space, you know, I need to get in the kayak and just be where there's nothing except a loon or listening to water. And whatever that is, for me, it's baking cookies. And I go back to tradition and things I did with my grandma and my mother, but for everybody, it's different. And I think we, we don't, we're so geared in caring for other people. We give, we give selflessly, and that's a great quality, but we also need to keep our our, our body, we don't see the barometer of stress inside our body. I didn't have chest pain or anxiety or anything. I'm a, you know, love the energy of people. And I think when you're that way, you sometimes can get, you don't even know you, you're, you maybe need to pause a moment.